Hi everyone, it's Victoria from Follow Me Away and today we are going to be doing a day trip to Oxford from London. Now this is a super easy day trip. Anyone can do it and let's check out some of the best things to do in Oxford. Here we go. Now a super easy way to get from London to Oxford or from Oxford to London is take something called the Oxford Tube which is a bus, it runs every 10 minutes. And then you can either hop on the actual London tube or the Metro system once you arrive. But the Oxford tube literally will drop you off right here on High Street, which is in the middle of all the action. And it's super easy and affordable. The buses run every 10 minutes. So just a great way to get from London into the city. All right, first up is the Bridge of Size. This is such a cool and unique spot. And this bridge goes over New College Lane and connects these two parts of Hertford College. And yes, you can walk through it. I think this is a really cool spot for like Instagram. Lots of people are here taking pictures and it's just like a really cool architectural piece in Oxford. Now the Bridge of Size is in the historic city center so it is quite easy to get from all the other famous sites to this specific section. So if you're coming here on your day trip from London I definitely recommend this is the perfect spot for a photo and just checking it out. Obsessed with the typical UK telephone booths which are still everywhere in the city. They are so cute. And there is one right in the heart of Oxford. Another great thing to do is to visit these libraries. Now they were closed while we were here because we were here a bit later in the day, but just check out this courtyard. Is this not the most gorgeous thing you have ever seen in your entire life? I'm obsessed, even if you're coming after hours this is totally worth it to come visit and i think it looks even more magical in the rain i found a really cool door i love this door i think this is gorgeous and it reminds me of something out of like a fantasy book like look at these little heads i'm pretty sure this one's albert einstein okay it's not albert einstein but it kind of looked like him but this place is free to visit and extremely, extremely gorgeous and extremely vibey. So it's definitely something I would do. Now, if there is one thing and one thing only that you should do in Oxford, it is to see the Radcliffe camera, which is this rotunda in the middle of the city. It is just beautiful. Here it is on a wider angle and it is very cool. Radcliffe camera started to be built in 1737 and it houses a library which I think is really cool but again this is free to check out from the outside extremely instagrammable and stunning there are also lots of different like cool angles that you can get Radcliffe camera in like here like you can just shoot down the street and walk around and you can see it in basically a 360 view. All right, now we're gonna check out this. That's called the Brazen Nose Lane and we're going to see if we can find any cool things that are off the beaten path, which is what I hear that this place is about. So let's try. Also, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but to me, it looks like Brazen Nose Lane. So it's right next to Radcliffe Camera and it's down this way. I also love that the ground is wet. We got so lucky. All right, we are at the end of Brazen Nose Lane. I think that this is a great spot if you want to get off the beaten path. Look how cute and get away from like the main tourist street and just see some cool things. So let me show you. I love how you can see like the chimneys and the smokestacks and it just feels very historical and like Mary Poppins vibes or Hogwarts vibes if that's what you're into. Okay, well you can't only see a little bit of Radcliffe camera, but you can see the rest of it and like All Souls College behind it. And it's just beautiful and extremely vibey. What do we think? When you're walking around Oxford, there are these stones in the main rotunda area. So make sure to wear good shoes, unlike me, because this could break your ankle and is also not very mobility friendly. There is a sidewalk that you can walk on but to cross, you do have to cross on these stone cobbles. 
Now this place here in the background is called the School College of All Souls and they only let in three people per year. Let's go and check it out closer. But isn't that crazy? Three people and somehow people are convinced that they could get in. Do you think you could get in? All right, now here we are at the All Souls College, which again, only allows three people in per year. This gate is stunning. Now, when you go here, you have to sit through a grueling 12 hours of exams. And they ask you lots of different hard questions. Here's a little peek inside what it looks like. Very nice. And again, they only let an extremely minimal amount of people into this college every year. This is the tower at the University Church, and the University Church of St. Mary has been the official church of the University of Oxford since the 1200s. How crazy is that? And yes, you can go in the tower building. Let's check it out. So it does cost money to visit, and it is closing, so we're not going to go in. But if you're here earlier in the day, there is a quick peek at the beginning of it. But for now, it is closing and we are going to head out and explore more of Oxford. There is the camera from a different angle. Okay, I think I found my favorite view of the Radcliffe camera. It is down this Cat Street. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right, but let's go look. I think it's really unique. But first, before showing you the view, I came across this door and it is apparently an electrical switch room. They are not playing around. They're saying help prevent tragedy if you see adults or children enter this door. Like you must call this number and danger of death. So they are literally extremely strict. This is also down that Cat Street, which again is right off the main road. It's just not, not the place to mess around with. So here is the view of Radcliffe camera. I think that this is just incredibly gorgeous and unique especially when you consider all of the like gas lamps and you have this beautiful wall it's just a really cool and unique spot for pictures and since we love photography this is definitely something that we're always looking out for when we're traveling to new places now on the other side of st um, mary's church there is st mary's passage and apparently this also has a really good view so let's walk down here and turn around and see what we think I like this. This is much less crowded than on the other side if you are looking for a view of the Radcliffe camera. I like it, but I do think that the view from the Cat Street is definitely better. But just wanna show you all the options. All right, saw this place called Fantasy, 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 and it's like a bubble tea place. I'm gonna go in and check it out. Here is the menu. I am always a tarot girly, so this place looks so good. And the prices are cheaper than what it would be in Florida, so let's let's give it a go. I also love this cute area where you can like work in the window and just watch the world go by outside. And here is the tarot milk tea. And it's really yummy, and it's actually quite a good portion for the price so definitely make sure to take out check out this place if you are in oxford of course you're going to want to walk along high street which is like the main shopping and dining street and where you can get souvenirs and it's just very vibey again lots of souvenir shops lots of restaurants and this is the high street which runs through the middle of the city great for just walking and exploring and of course there are buses so if you want to get around quite easily just hop on one and off you go hope you enjoyed that brief peek into oxford as a day trip from london make sure to like subscribe and share and we'll see you next time